I love that these two wonderful trees are contributing to the beautification of Tokyo by way of this fantastic green dome. We're actually right next to Roppongi Hills in the center of Tokyo. I'll get inside here. Great way to spend an afternoon under the green dome. So we're gonna talk about addiction today and specifically the two addicts who happen to be behind the camera right now that you can't see. You can see me, but behind you are two addicts. Let's talk about their case for a moment and let's have compassion because our hearts need to go out to them for this addiction. What is their addiction, you might be asking? Pokemon cards, or if you're American, I think they say Pokemon, but Pokemon, right? So you go to the convenience store. This is my addiction, by the way. Oh yeah, green tea, see? And it says, reduces body fat. Oh yeah, okay, so that's my addiction. But these guys are addicted to Pokemon cards. So let's talk about what's going on because this does relate to marketing. Now, they'll go to the store and they buy these little packets of Pokemon cards and then they'll sit and they'll, they'll look through them and see how valuable they are because there are some that are more valuable than others if you sell them on eBay or wherever the hell they sell them, right? So the anticipation of getting the card is triggering rewards inside their brain. Okay, how does this work? So let's imagine that like any other kind of gambling because this is gambling. I know what I'm getting every time. They don't, okay? So there's a completely different system, completely different set of rewards going on. So in gambling, if you're at a slot machine, you pull the lever, I guess you hit a button these days, but the first two numbers or fruit or whatever it is will come up very quickly. And oftentimes those first two will indicate the possibility of a win, not all the time, right? Because it has to be intermixed, not all the time. But when it does happen, that's the first bit of anticipation. It's like, <gasps> okay, your brain, specifically the ventral tegmental area, will send dopamine through the mesocortical limbic pathway into your nucleus accumbens, which is your reward center. So it's like, ooh, here comes something good. So think about humans from ages ago, something good might happen, I'm gonna go there. So it's gonna move you toward the good food, it's gonna move you toward the plant that will nourish you, it ensures our survival. So gambling is hijacking the system. It's the anticipation. It's not the outcome. So that's why when you build that type of anticipation and interspersed or intermittent rewards into whatever you're doing, that is gonna trigger this anticipation system. And that's why the gotcha marketing or any type of anticipation is going to be highly, highly effective and how you can use it for whatever you're doing.